Hello everybody, I am Jim Weston. I am the owner of Sky Harbor Enterprises. Uh, it was formerly known as uh, New England Drone Works. Uh, and Sky Harbor Enterprises is comprised of uh, Sky Harbor Solutions and Sky Harbor Consulting. And uh, I've had people ask me, um, why, why so many companies, what's going on with that? Well, I, I try to keep um, the company separated. For instance, the Sky Harbor Solutions is where I physically go out and I collect data by flying drones over uh, land that I'm contracted to take, get data from. Uh, and then I process that data and I send it back to the companies for, uh, requesting it in deliverables. Uh, and the other one, which is Sky Harbor Consulting, um, for instance, if uh, a company wants to hire uh, people to fly drones specifically for them, because I mean, nowadays that's exactly what's happening. Companies are trying to save money without hiring uh, subcontractors to do it. It's a kind of a 50-50 thing, but uh, they may call me in to train their uh, new hires uh, to get their part 107s. And I have all the tools necessary to uh, run a one-week course uh, and then afterwards I'll give them a hand uh, setting up their appointment to get their licenses and and uh, I'll stick with them for a little bit after that to make sure that they understand what the rules are and um, how the FAA enforces them and so on um, but I'm bringing this channel forward uh, so that uh, I can show people uh, what I do um, with uh, web ODM and this is an open source application where you can take photos uh, that you do uh, out of a specific pattern that you um, take them at take these photos at and you can feed them into this application and uh, the application will go ahead and work those photos and give you three dimensional type maps um, of which uh, comes from a mosaic and a lot of people expect the map to look uh, like high resolution photographic quality but that's really not what its purpose is um, its purpose is to actually collect data um, and show on a 3d model um, how to use that data uh, specifically like uh, land ele elevations and uh, to topography. Uh, you want to do measurements. If you have a construction company that has um, loads of gravel delivered, um, we can check the volume of those uh, loads and everything and uh, come back with a pretty accurate measurement of it to make sure that you got exactly what you ordered. Um, and things like this, but it goes a lot deeper than that too because I also use ODM uh, along with uh, QGIS, uh, which is GIS mapping technology. Uh, QGIS is another open source um, product uh, that you can actually download from the internet. And the data sets that come off of Web ODM can actually be loaded onto a GIS platform in layers. Uh, and one of the really cool things about it, too, is if you work with a construction company that wants to know what the progress of a certain um, site is going, you can do uh, like weekly flyovers and then process that information and then go ahead and put it on QGIS and save it as a file. Uh, and then uh, you can enter the layers uh, by the week and see how the project is growing by putting those layers on there. And it's quite interesting. As a matter of fact, you can load the photos that you take uh, right onto QGIS so that the actual person that ordered this type of process can actually look at the photos that you took um, instead of looking at the mosaic, which really, it does kind of tell uh, what it looks like. Um, and with every new edition that comes out of Web, Web ODM, uh, the render is getting better and better as far as definition goes. But um, it's, it's probably going to be a while before it actually comes out looking absolutely perfect. But um, so the reason I'm putting all this together is to go ahead because it's open source. 
um, this is my way of returning, uh, like giving back uh, to it because I'm using two open source processes and that's WebODM and then QGIS. And I know that there's a lot of people out there like you that are all starting out and you want to get, uh, you want to get busy with this. Um, when I first started flying drones, I asked, is there anything more than doing just um, like real estate photos and, you know, uh, land photos for people who uh, are just wanting to like buy land or if they are sitting on a piece of land, uh, a relative passes away and, it, and it, one of the kids want to get a, a aerial photo of it to show their friends or whatever. Um, there's there's got to be a whole lot more to it than that, and that's exactly what I did when I first started this off. Is I actually actually looked into it and I found this whole program, and um, it actually is very educational and, and uh, it's very useful. And I'm going to show you that here uh, in the next few videos that come out. So one of the other things that I wanted to express with this is that if anybody um, wants to you know something. Um, within the scope of what I'm doing, uh, you're more than welcome to reach out to me and, and ask. And uh, if I don't know, I'm going to tell you I don't know. I am a novice at this. I am not an expert by any stretch of the imagination, but I know enough to be dangerous. So with that being said, uh, we're going to go ahead and move on. And you can click on to the next video as soon as it's up. And, and uh, I'll be seeing you then. Until then. Thank you very much for reaching out to us, and, and uh, I hope you can get something good out of this. Thank you. Have a great one.